Congratulations, you've just purchased your Home Guardian Model 3 non wearable fall and activity detection device for your home. Inside the box, you'll see a Home Guardian Model 3. You'll also get a 3 meter power cable. You'll also get a power adapter. You'll get a wall bracket as well as the necessary plugs and screws. Today, the installation will be based on you have already provided your Wi-Fi and emergency contact details. So we have already pre-configured this device and all we're going to be doing is installing the device onto the wall in Jiprock. What we first do is make sure that the device is approximately 2.2 metres high from the floor. Okay, to install the Home Guardian, all you need is a drill bit, which is about a five and a half gauge. You also need a Phillips head screwdriver, um, as well as the parts that have come in the box. So what we've already done is measured from the floor to 2.2 metres high from the ground. That will be your first drill hole. So we've drilled the first hole, then what we'll do is we'll mark by placing the wall mount on the wall, the other two holes for us to drill after. Take that off, as you can see the holes are now set, I'll now drill the other two holes. I will then get the wall plugs and we will put those into the holes which are supplied with the Home Guardian in the box. Now normally you would hit these into the wall with a hammer. In this case I'm just going to be using the back end of a 12 volt drill. And that's on. Now what we'll do is we'll take three screws that are supplied with the Home Guardian and we'll also get the wall mount and we'll place a screw in there one at a time. You can get your Phillips head screwdriver and slowly screw those in. If you have a power drill it's much quicker and you can obviously put the screws in much faster. screwing and your wall bracket is on the wall. The next step, okay so for safety I'm just going to remove the tools that I have. The next step is to put the Home Guardian device on the wall bracket. Quite simply unscrew bracket so you can actually have leverage and movability. Slowly screw it on. And then slowly screw the base underneath here. As you can still see the device can rotate. So we want to make it at about a 40, about a 35 to 40 degree angle. And as you'll see this turns and you can tighten by pushing the opposite direction with Let's give it one last tighten. Now the device is in the correct angle, about 40 to 45 degrees, looking out over the area. Sometimes what I do do to really tighten this screw component here is get a pair of pliers 
and pinch tight it so it doesn't actually drop or, or move the angle anymore. Next step then is to plug the power in. We supply a three meter cable. So if obviously the plug is further away and then we simply put this into the back where the USB-C port is. And then your device will come online. And installing the device is as simple as that.